So here we go. It's time for our tale of the tape. Carlos Cuadras and Jesse Rodriguez. Rodriguez, 11 years run younger. But when it comes to the height, weight, and reach, virtually identical 12 rounds for the WBC Super Flyweight Championship. Second. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the instructions in the dressing room. I expect a clean fight, and I need you guys to be very careful with your heads on the inside, okay? These trunks right here are right on the line, and these trunks are right on the line right here. Okay, so you guys watch, watch the low blows. Touch them up, go back to your corners. The unknowns coming into this fight are pretty simple. Does Carlos Cuadras, 14 years and 43 fights into his professional career, have one more transformative performance in him? And is Jesse Rodriguez, one of boxing's best flyweight prospects, ready for this moment? Yeah, too much too soon for Ben so Rodriguez, one. or right place, right time for this late replacement. This is for the Super Flyweight Championship of the World. Carlos Cuadras, black trunks, black gloves, Jesse Bam Rodriguez in the white trunks. See that subtle little shift right there, the pivot. Bam Rodriguez, you're going to see a whole lot of that. You saw a nice body shot with the right hand there from Rodriguez, and there's a jab to the body. Cuadras aiming at the body of Rodriguez as well, and it's a good strategy to stop the movement and the legs of Bam Rodriguez. Round two. So round two, let's see if Bam Rodriguez can start to settle in. Despite what he told us, you've got to believe there were plenty of nerves floating throughout his body in the first round of this mega fight for him. Oh, as there should be. I mean, he's in there with a, one of the toughest fighters at this division and naturally bigger, so he could feel the punches. But shots like that from the angle is what's going to be successful for Jesse Rodriguez. And of course, body shots. Now, Quadras. Beautiful one, two, three, and then he landed cleanly. Every shot was hard. Oh, good left hand to the body there for Quadras. And those will add up, won't they, Sergio? Absolutely. I love seeing those two shots right there by Quadras. Bam's doing some nice work there, but I think his corner wants to see him step around a little bit more. Standing in front of Quadras. Straight shot there, lands for Rodriguez. Quadras answers back, and it's going to be that kind of fight, it feels like. I'll land a couple, you land a couple. Good uppercut and an answer for Quadras. That's what makes Bam Rodriguez so special right there. He can get left hand, straight left hand, uppercut, and a, and a, shot, a left hook. Stay smart. 
putting the pressure to the bigger, naturally bigger fighter. He's backing up Quadras. Notice how Quadras is punching in between the shots. Always dangerous. Time. And there you see Quadras punching in between the combination of Bam Rodriguez. Quadras coming right back. You always got to be careful. Good body shot right there. No, don't hold the punch. Watch for that left uppercut to the body. To the liver, a liver shot by Bam Rodriguez. Looks like he's looking for that shot. Over. Yeah, he's looking for that liver shot, Bam Rodriguez. Oh, upstairs, as Quadras is defending for the body. What a game plan on display here for Rodriguez. That's <laughs> one, two for Quadras. That's a good one by Quadras. Not landing Ten seconds. The shots the are still effective. He's the bigger man, and those, those punches are being felt by Rodriguez. Again, Rodriguez will become the youngest world title holder in boxing today if he wins this fight. You can see Rodriguez already comfortable with the strength of the bigger man. He's walking Quadras back in this, in this round as well. Chris, you thought earlier that there might be a chance that Quadras might just box Rodriguez's ears off. That is not happening. No, we're seeing, you know, I don't want to say a different version of Jesse, but one we haven't been able to glimpse yet because he's been so dominant physically. He's been knocking so many opponents out. Here he's showcasing power, but he's also showcasing great boxing ability, solid defense, a little bit of everything. Still plenty of time, though, for Quadras to pull something out of his of the sleeve. He told us he would fight dirty if he had to, didn't he, Sergio? Yeah, he did. I mean, look, the, the confidence is there, the experience is there. Pretty good one there for Quadras. Yeah, this, has been, this has been a pretty good round for Carlos Quadras. Once again, he's able to throw more value in the punches than Jesse Rodriguez is. It's because Sam Rodriguez is letting him by staying inside. He's not moving around. He's not dazzling him with the footwork anymore. He's getting too comfortable. This is something young, young fighters make the mistake of doing. Body shots by Quadras right there. Those are strong shots of the body. No, come on. No retaliate. You kind of like Carlos Quadras. That's the second time where. Jesse has gone low, Quadras responded with a low blow of his And that's own. what a veteran is supposed to do. He doesn't look at the referee for, for advice or for attention. He's going to get it back the same way. You want to fight dirty, I'm going to return the favor. Let's go. Come on, guys. Keep it clean. Come on. Really nicely now because he's coming right back with the offense now. You can tell, you can see that he, he already tasted the power of the smaller Rodriguez. I've got Rodriguez kind of comfortably ahead. He's going to win this fight. Well, hey, earlier tonight Raymond Ford looked like he had lost him. that Bam Rodriguez needs to fight right there. He landed four good shots and went back to the stick. Two and a half rounds to turn this around for Carlos Quadras. You gotta believe he's down at least a couple rounds. 
See, shots like those, we know Rodriguez like, blocked all those shots. Rodriguez is such a strong fighter that you still have an effect on your face. You can see how red the face of Jesse Rodriguez is. Rodriguez wins rounds when Rodriguez isn't very active. And right here, Rodriguez is being very active. But he's not doing it standing in front of him. He's doing it from angles as he should be doing it. Yeah, that's what makes it so hard to move up in the distance. It's like you have to walk a, a, fine, a fine rope this entire time for 36 minutes. You have to be careful. And that's what Rodriguez is doing right here. Not standing in front of the bigger, stronger man. And picking him apart with that stick. In his first Watch ever out. title fight of any kind. His first title fight of any kind. Rodriguez lost focus right there, started looking at the crowd, got caught by Bam Rodriguez. Yeah, I think Rodriguez thought the referee was going to break up the clinch. The referee let it go. Protect yourself at all times. Rodriguez with the veteran move right there. Stop! Stop! Step back! Rodriguez yeah. doing the right thing as soon as he back touches the ropes. You better pivot out of there. Do not stand against the ropes. Keep this fight in the middle of the ring. Jesse Rodriguez pivoting away, puts his hand up. Rodgers looks away, but protect yourself at all times. That was a veteran move. That was the right thing for Pam Rodriguez to do. Okay, guys, be careful. Hey, last round, you don't want any points taken, okay? Be careful. Let's go. Three right, minutes. So it all Box. comes down to this. It feels like Quadras has to get a knockdown here to stay competitive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 12 exciting rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Here are the judges' totals. Both Steve Morrow and Dennis O'Connell score it 117-110. Barry Lindenman has it 115-112. Your winner by unanimous decision. He is now the new WBC Super Flyweight World Champion and still undefeated, Jesse! Damn! Run!